Welcome back to EA Sports. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski, getting set to call all the action here. John Bass is back on home ice tonight in the second of a back-to-back. -back. I always found with these games, James, that if I could get myself through my first couple of shifts, my legs would show up. But man, you're not feeling very good a lot of nights when you're starting to play second of two nights. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Odette. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Stopped with ease. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. Moves it around along the half wall. Gets it to the other point. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. Moves the puck behind the net. Read that perfectly with the poke check. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Defenders get a break here. That stoppage in play came just in the nick of time. They're gassed out there. Past the midway mark in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Russians gain control of the puck. Moves the puck. Takes the feed. Comes up with the stop. A chance in front. Oh, there's one more. I love the way that he's in position, and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. Nice pass. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. It's a two-on-one rush. Left save by the goalie. That's an important stop for the goalie. Not only does he make the save, but because he catches it, he kills the play. In the final moments of this period, we're still scoreless. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he scores! Oftentimes, the goalie will drop in the butterfly, take the chance that he's got everything covered. Not so here. This is up over the glove. It's a beautiful shot. Moscow's mindset has to be through the roof if they can maintain this to the end of the first. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what it is now is you've got a little bit of breathing room with a one-goal lead. Great reach with the poke check. Moves it quickly over to Shingarov. Oh, brings it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. Moscow's continually pushing the play. They've got the lead, and this shot hits the post and stays out. Quick feed to Shingarov. frame James and Ray with you so glad you could join us the Russians lead it one nothing Moscow's got it and they're on the attack they'll be back on their he scores that's two in a row they got the first one and I was really interested to see how they would respond they kept the pressure on Now, coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Moscow's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. Takes the feed. There's another for the hit parade. Let's it fly. Scores! Oh, what a shot on the one-timer to put it home. When the goaltender gets into the butterfly, he's just trying to take away as much of the net as he can. He's got lots covered, not enough as he gets beaten for a tally. 
John Bass is back to set a race, and now that much closer to tying things up. They're just filled with confidence and adrenaline now. Their bench exploded when they scored that goal to bring them to within one marker. Looks to set up at the point now. Too much congestion in front. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here's the official call. The Russians will lose a man tripping the call. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. Guys, we know this power play is ranked toward the bottom of the league, but with their first power play of the game, this is a chance for them to turn things around. They've been working hard. They might be able to capitalize on some good things here and get the momentum swinging in their direction. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Good technique as the puck is over to the corner out of the way. Moscow's got the puck below the wall. Just wide. Most dangerous place on the ice and he can't capitalize. Here's a chance! It's in! It goes off the post and into the net! I've always thought they should be able to fix the goal post so every puck that hits the post somehow ends up in the net. Spoken like a true goal scorer. What oh, the heck with the goalies. They got enough equipment on. <laughs> he made a big move here on this shot, but there's so much traffic, James. I think he's better off just trying to drop into the butterfly and spread out as best as he can. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Looking to set up offensively. Here he is, wristed on net. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Look out. Puts it on net. Blocker save. Takes a hit on the play. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Snaps it on net. Made the save on the play. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. John Baskins a hold of the puck against the boards. Rocks him on the play. He was locked in there. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Sometimes you pick up a little extra in the replay here and... As you look at this, the goalie is so sharp to make this save. That's an excellent shot that is taken, and the goalie turns it away. Just misses the net, but really, the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Makes it look easy with the stop. Moscow's got it in their own zone. And that play's broken up. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Pat scores! The dead one's broken. That's a big goal when they put him into the lead. Well, if he was about four inches taller, maybe he would have got to that desperation effort, but no goal. John Bass has taken the lead late in this second period. Can they hang on now? Well, they can if they stay aggressive. It's a killer to give up a goal late in the period. They don't want to do that. From the left side, takes the pass. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Whoa, James, I'll tell you. I was on the receiving end of those, not on the giving end. Those hurt. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Moscow's game plan really can't change or shouldn't change too much. 
They've owned time of possession. They've had the puck a lot. They just haven't been able to catch the game. Lots of time left in this period. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Denies him on the slapper. Move to the middle. Nothing doing. Moscow's going to play it from the corner. Moves inside. Big save in front. Takes it across the blue line. Just bashes him against the boards. Don't worry, James. You're safe up there. Down here, that sounded like a car crash. Rister, he scores! They might as well keep that light on behind the goaltender. And again, that's four straight for them here. They have just totally taken over this game. The man advantage break is sprung here, and they executed perfectly. Two different views from either side of me. One coach not happy they gave up the man advantage break. The other one's pretty pumped with how they executed it. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Don Bass seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. A chance! And the puck dies with the trapper save. Moscow's got the puck against the boards. Takes the pass. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back-to-back -back stops. That goes off a twig. Don Bass has possession of the puck. The Russian flux stays poor. This shot hits the pipe and doesn't bounce in for them. They still trail in the game. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Look out, here they come on the attack. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. We got a minor penalty coming up For here. Sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. This power play is ranked top ten in the league, guys. They are extremely dangerous here, and with the first one of the night, let's see what happens. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Look out! Turns it aside with the glove. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Moscow's up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play against. Those ones always carry a little more pop. Makes his presence known on the ice. Slides it across, and he comes up with it. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. I need to take another look at that. I thought there was room to get by. Clearly, I was wrong. I'm glad I don't have to take the hit he just took. Moscow's moving it along the wing. Nice pass. Tonight's him in front. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. And that's off a stick. Makes the glove stop. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. From the right side, they gain the zone. Denies him with the save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Parashuko's in good position to create a scoring chance, but he bobbles the puck, and the chance is gone. And he makes the save. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Quick shot. Moscow's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. Quick feed to Odette. Gets in front of it. With the bank pass. Solid body contact. Time save. I think he got him with a toe. Four seconds left. And a good heads up defensive play in the open ice. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. Sometimes it doesn't matter if it's close or not. I mean, you look for positives, but a loss is a loss is a loss, and they can't break this streak. They don't need a little luck, they need a miracle right now. 
For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebulski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.